there, I'm Mary Poplin with Imagineer Systems and Boris Effects, and today I'm going to be showing you multiple techniques for VR 360 degree stabilization inside of Adobe products. In the last year, new camera technology and VR headset availability has made 360 degree filmmaking a popular new medium. While immersive 360 video is exciting to experience, moving cameras can often produce jitters and warps that make for a poor viewing experience even causing the viewer to become nauseous. A solution to these problems is to stabilize the horizon, making the moving 360 video much easier to view. I'm going to show you how to stabilize using the Dashwood VR tools, and I'm going to show you a technology preview of what's coming for our Mocha VR platform as well. Keep in mind that Mocha VR is still in beta. So let's get started with the Dashwood 360 Toolbox. We're going to select our footage. We're going to take our Reorient Sphere, which is actually just in beta, and we're going to add it to this. So now that we've added our Reorient Sphere, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pan around. We're going to pan around until I get to the area that I want to track. And I want to make sure that's as in the middle of the shot as possible. We want that horizon to be there. The reason for that is as we track our data, we want this to be as accurate as possible. We're going to select this. And we're going to go to Layer, Precompose. Once we've precomposed, we're going to move all attributes into the new composition, just like we did with the Skybox tools. And now we're going to select Mocha Pro. Now this is our Mocha Pro V5 plugin. We're going to drag and drop it right onto our timeline and we're going to launch Mocha. Again, that's going to read right off the After Effects timeline. Now we're going to take our X spline and draw it right around the tree that we want to track. And this is going to be the crux of our stabilize. We're going to call this tree track for stabilize. And we're going to turn shear off again. We're going to leave luminance on, minimum percent of pixels at 90. We're tracking all of the pixels inside of the spline, or at least 90% of them. We're going to turn off our thumbnail view so that's not in the way. Using large motion, we're going to go ahead and hit track forward, but first we're going to turn our surface tool on so we can make sure this track is accurate. You always want to pay attention to the surface tool when you're tracking in Mocha because the shape can be animated and therefore the shape can lie to you about what your track is doing. The surface tool never lies. Once we've gotten our tracking data, we can simply go to Export Tracking Data. And again, we're going to select After Effects Transform Data and copy that right to the clipboard. We're going to save this and close it. And we're going to go to Layer, New, Null Object. Now, to be perfectly clear, I can actually use my tracking data and we can create our tracking data from our layer. And that will give us the ability to pick whip to that data but I actually prefer to use nulls. So we're going to select our layer and we're going to go to Edit, Paste. Again, we're going to twirl this down into our transform data. And again, we're going to take our position and we're going to separate the dimensions. So we've got position X, position Y, and rotation. We're going to go ahead and turn scale off again because we don't need it. And again, let's check out that data. It moves perfectly along with our object. We're going to select our pre-comp with Mocha on it, and we're going to go to Layer Pre-Compose. We're going to type in Dash Wood Reorient and move all attributes into the new composition. Now let's go into our Dash Wood VR toolbox, and we're going to grab Reorient Sphere and drag and drop that right onto our effect. From here, we simply twirl this down into Effects and Reorient Sphere. Inside our Reorient Sphere, we're going to notice that we have a new set of data, which is tracker data, X, Y, and rotation. So in our Reorient Sphere, we're going to go into our tracking data, and we're going to Alt-click, Alt-click, and Alt-click to bring up our expressions. We could also copy and paste our keys from Mocha with no expression linking, but I like using linking because I feel like it's extremely easy. But the point is, you don't need to do expressions as Dashwood has created this internal expression for you. 
we're going to select position X and we're going to drag it all the way up to our null. Position X. We're going to select position Y. And we're going to drag it all the way up to our position Y on our null. And we're going to select our pick whip for our rotation. And we're going to drag it all the way up to our rotation. Now, you can see that this is stable, but the horizon line is not correct. So that's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go into our tilt, pan, and roll. And we're going to turn on our horizon lines. And this will give us a guide so that we can align our horizon line. So let's just take our tilt, bring it up here, and let's make sure that's correct. Again, we want our tracking data to be right in the middle of that. All right, so now let's hit play. And you can see that we have a nice, smooth stabilize. But again, we're keeping our bump that we get from our normal filming process. So to recap, this uses the Dashwood 360 degree reorientation along with the Mocha Pro tracking data to stabilize the horizon really quickly and easily inside of After Effects. Now I'd like to show you a technology preview of a new product that we are calling Mocha VR. Mocha VR has the ability to work in a calibrated 3D workspace, and so Planner, Tracking, and Roto, and Remove can all be used for 360 VR projects instead of a more comfortable viewer. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. We have new tools for the horizon and stabilize. And this is a sneak peek at what is coming. For users that want to join our beta, click on support and fill out our contact form. We'll send you a link to a survey and an NDA and put you on our forums. You'll be good to go. We actually really want your feedback because we're building these tools to your specifications. So one of the coolest things about the Mocha Pro plugin is that it works inside of any tool that you use, whether that's Premiere or Adobe or Avid, etc. So all you do is you go to your effects and you type in Mocha Pro. Drag and drop that right on to your timeline and you can simply launch it right from your host application. The same is true for Mocha VR. And it's going to read our footage right into our instance of our plugin. The first thing we're going to do though is we're going to go to our lens tab. Inside of our lens tab we're going to account for this echo rectangular lens just like you're used to in normal Mocha Pro for things like barrel distortion and fisheye distortion and anamorphic distortion we're going to select echo rectangular. Once we select echo rectangular that's all we have to do but it's important that we do that first because otherwise the model won't be applied before we apply our tracking data. Now, instead of our tracking data, I want to point you to a new button. It's this 360 button. And you can see that we can pan around in our workspace. And we can actually get a good idea of what we're viewing. So I'm going to orient our tree right here in the middle of our background. And I'm going to turn my thumbnail off so it doesn't get in the way. We're going to take our X-Blind tool and draw it right around our tree. And we can go ahead and turn our surface tool on and track translation, scale, and rotation. We're going to call this tree track stabilize. And we're going to go ahead and hit track forward again using luminance, minimum percent of uh, pixels at 90, large motion, and nothing else. Hit track forward. And what I want to point out is that it will track inside of our 360 view or our echo rectangular view. It doesn't matter. You can switch between and see what your track is doing. Now obviously the further we get towards the edge the more it's going to distort with our data. That's okay though because we don't have to move it to the center of the shot to get a great track. Now once we have our track we're going to actually go to our reorient. Now inside of reorient we're going to make sure that we've selected our tree track stabilize. The next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to show you how off kilter this is, is we're going to align our line here in the middle visually to what the horizon is doing. So let's tilt this and let's add a little bit of a roll. And I feel like that's a good approximation of what the horizon should be doing. Now this is a visual solve just like 
the lens tool is a, a visual solve instead of Mocha, and things like the insert tool are a visual solve. Once we've done that, we can either hit render forward to do a preview. Let's just turn our overlays off. Or we can check out our preview right here in 360 as we render. So again, look how the horizon is locked down, but we keep the motion of the shot. But again, it's about taking the pitch and yaw out of the shot so that the shot is comfortable to watch. So if I play, you can see that that's nice and steady. Now, I can also check it right here in 360. So let's turn 360 on. Let's pan around. Let's pan around using our hand tool. And let's see what this looks like now. Much more comfortable. And then here's the original. And you can see that this is going to be completely cattywampus, which is a very technical term, cattywampus. So that would make you sick. And this is comfortable and puts you right into the experience. And that's what VR is all about. From here, I can simply save and close. And back inside of Premiere, or whatever my host application is, I can simply hit Render and drop down to Reorient. Now when I hit Play, my shot is stabilized right on my timeline, no matter what host I'm in, because we're using a plugin. And that is Mocha VR. If you have any questions, I am Mary Poplin with Imagineer Systems, and you can find more information on our website at www.imagineersystems.com. Don't forget, join the beta if you want to play with these tools.